Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Vishnu Edu. I'm Vishnu and in this uh, video I'm going to be showing you an animation uh, just like the previous video but uh, the uh, topic is different. The, uh, the topic we are going to be discussing today is autotrophics and heterotrophics. So it is based on the first chapter of class 7 science. So if uh, so make sure you like this video share if it is helpful if it, if it is helpful and also subscribe to this channel so let's go hi everyone welcome here in this lesson we are going to learn about heterotrophs and autotrophs so what are they at first let us see their meaning in the word autotrophic auto means self and trophic means to feed and from the word heterotrophic, hetero means another. So, now as we know the meaning, let us see their definitions. The mode of nutrition in which organisms synthesize their own food using inorganic materials such as carbon dioxide, water and minerals is called autotrophic nutrition. Organisms that exhibit this kind of nutrition are called autotrophs. Some examples are green plants and certain bacteria. Now, Heterotrophic nutrition. The mode of nutrition in which organisms do not prepare their own food but are actually directly or indirectly dependent on plants for food is called heterotrophic nutrition. The organisms exhibiting this type of nutrition are called heterotrophs. Hence all animals including humans are heterotrophics. It's time for a fun fact. Did you know that uh, there's a plant named Euglena which turns into an autotrophic in the presence of light and turns heterotrophic during the absence of light? Did you enjoy the animation and learn something from it? If you did, follow the steps which I told in the intro. In the next lesson, we're going to be doing, we're, I'm going to be discussing about uh, all, all, all the types of the heterotrophics. And after that, I'm going to be conducting an ex an experiment on fungi growth. So I hope you see. So I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.